Premier Darrell Dexter was met by a couple of dozen protesters when he visited southwestern Nova Scotia today. Many of those protesters laid off Bay Ferries workers who lost their jobs after the province announced it wouldn't fund the cat ferry to New England. CTV's Jacqueline Foster was there for the Premier's first visit to the area since the funding acts fell. This is her report. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's the signs arrived, police were on hand. And the chanting started just as Premier Daryl Dexter got there. Supporters of the ferry service between the Army and the Moon followed Premier Dexter inside, but the meetings were held behind closed doors. I think it's time that, that our Premier steps up to the plate and gives us something here at this end of the province, especially where tourism is concerned. Time we get together and make our voices one. A revolution's brewing and our time has come. Yeah. To help uh, deal with um, what is going to be a very difficult uh, tourism season. I was looking for something uh, substantially higher than that. I was looking something into the, the million dollar range, 1.1, 1.2 million dollars over three years. The Premier says despite that, he stands by his government's decision to cancel the subsidy for the CAT this season. But what we want to see is a commercially viable, sustainable service. People on the street have their own message for the Premier. Uh, we really need to have uh, a ferry here. We need the province to get on board with us to help us with that. Without that, this town's dead, so the town's dead. They ignore the Constitution, take our freedom away. They say it's a solution, the price we hey, have hey, to pay. Whoa, whoa, Daryl Dexter, Daryl. About but without any concrete action, Premier Daryl Dexter was sent right. off, much the same way he was greeted. We're talking about the land we love, it's time to start the fight. Oh, we're headed for a revolution. Oh, we're headed for a revolution. We're headed for a revolution. Thank you.